Thanks, Eric. Spring is the perfect time to begin your garden, whether you have tried one or not. Joining me now is Tim Sign from Jolly, Green, Jolly Lane Greenhouse, here to give us some tips on how you can sprout that green thumb. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Good morning. Let's start with, I've never gardened before. What are some good preparations to take care of before the spring season? Well, the first thing to do, and because we're early for actually any planting at this point, is to prepare the site, um, determine where you want to put the garden, if it's a brand new garden or if it's an existing situation, um, amend the soils and get them ready to go for the season with compost and amendments that will help improve the quality of that soil. So um, quality of soil, what is, what is good soil to start with? Well, most of the soils, if you're planting in the ground that we tend to have are heavy, poorly drained. So incorporating some good organic matter, um, compost, uh, peat moss, vermiculite, manures, things like that will add nutrients as well as loosen lightness soil so you have a better drainage and um, the happier, happier plants. So once we get our preparations ready and the springtime kind of rolls in through Rapid City, what are the plants that you should start with early on in the season versus later on in the season? Well, the first things that are usually planted, uh, which will be towards the end of March now, is you know seed potatoes, uh, onion plants, your cool weather things, things that have their root system below the ground. And th if we have some freezing temps, it's not going to bother them. Uh, as we get further into spring, into May, uh, you turn into the warmer weather plants, uh, tomatoes, peppers. Um, so it, it does vary based on the time of the season we're in, which you should what you should be planting at this point. And how do you take care of these plants throughout the season? Are there steps you need to take to make sure they grow happy and healthy? Well, yeah, you know, maintenance is an important thing. And uh, obviously water is going to be key. You need to moderate or maintain a moisture level that's um, adequate, not too, too wet, and of course not too dry. And you need to make sure there's nutrient in that soil. Uh, you've, you haven't composted or added nutrient through that means you can uh, supplement with fertilizers. And and uh, the, the plant will tell you if it's happy or not. And let's say I'm a little late to the game this year. Are there any plants I can plant later on in the season? You, you, certainly. If you're a little bit later, uh, you're, and sometimes even a midsummer planting of some things that like the cool late season fall temperatures as we cool down um, are good too. So there's different plants from spring to fall and uh, just to, uh, so you have lots of things to harvest. Well, great. Thank you so much and giving us some of these great gardening tips this morning, Tim. I can't wait to start my garden well, this spring. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. That's Thank right. you so much. Yes. We'll be right back.